How's it going everybody? My name is Carlos House. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm 2.0 video. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing real nice. Today we are moving along with our A through Z timeline, you can say. We are moving on to Alarak. This is my fourth attempt in recording this video, just as a side note. And just before we start this video, I really want to start this off, start this off with a little bit of a side note. Um, I do not claim to be the best player in the world. Um, to be honest, I do claim to be a little bit better than the average player just because of the time I spent with the game and I, and I continue to spend. Um, I am Diamond 4 and I'm still climbing, which means that you know I am kind of decent at the game, but I've never claimed to be the best like the shizniz or whatever you might want to call this, you know? Um, I, found, I find that certain viewers get... F certain people on YouTube got a little bit confused and yes, I still make mistakes. I still auto-attack minions whenever I... Um, maybe if I should have been attacking Vala or whoever was the, the target I, I, was, I was supposed to be attacking. I still make mistakes, but I still continue to make these guys to spark some imagination within people, to stop playing the same build, or maybe just maybe make them play different characters by making them a little bit more comfortable with the character, by giving them a really tried and true build. Today we're going to do that for Alarak. Hopefully you guys are, are going to keep that in mind when we go into the video. Alarak is a really good solo lane uh, against another person. Uh, he's not that good at the wave clear, but he's definitely super good against, again, another person in the lane. He's a very good setup hero, but, but he's not actually good himself on following up with that setup. Uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit more during the video. Um, and his talents aren't that interesting and actually fun fact he's about to be reworked like really soon like within next month he should be reworked along with Taranda as well so we're gonna take a look at him uh, give you guys kind of like my, my tailored build over the 16 levels I've played with him and we should have some fun definitely definitely have some fun Finally. Right, boys and squirrels, you find yourselves on the Towers of Doom again. I just recorded, I just, sorry, I tried to record the video on Alarak and it was the same, on the same map. Uh, anyway, what I said in the previous video, it's one of my favorite maps just because it's so methodical and you really do feel when you win because it's mostly about your macro play. His Q ability is a triangle and a skill shot in front of him. Uh, after a, a very short delay, he will deal quite heavy damage and also silence a person. You can see how that's super important. That's just, just the first part. Okay, sorry, that's the second part of, the, of his setup. The first, the first part is his telekinesis, uh, telekinesis um, ability, which allows you, allows you to either push yourself or any enemy in a certain direction. Doesn't matter how uh, long that vector is, it's still going to push them in this uh, basically um, the same distance. On level 1 we did pick up a talent which extends that uh, distance in which we push or push ourselves or push, uh, push any enemy. Uh, but we did pay 10%. play with people like that they see me going bottom and but they still want to engage into a 5v5 in the middle lane that actually sounds super legit let, let, let me go and join okay let me go and join let's see what we can do up here okay but now i do damage and they don't want to follow up okay whatever let me just go down the bottom lane because again i'm a pretty good solo lane. i think probably should should easy easy push me out um, hi Probus. Yeah, I think we should get out of here, man. Yeah, so basically my trait is called uh, say Sadism. Um, as default, you do 100% more damage to heroes with your abilities. Hi Salas. I don't think you should do anything too much to me. <laughs> People are just rude. They disrespect the, the power of, of Alarak. Let me go behind the, the wall. Um, but uh, yeah, um, we decreased that on, my, on our level one talent, but we did we did get the ability to kind of push people, or again push myself a little bit. <gasps> Missed the combo. There we go. We 
I gotta kill anyway. I put, uh, as, you, as you can see, that distance kind of effed me over there, and it actually pushed him below me, actually, sorry, behind me, which kind of just made my combo really almost impossible to uh, to get there. It looks like the enemy team will be making their way down here. There's three people. He's gonna push myself. I'm just gonna give it up. Looks like we want to fight over the top two. That's also fine. As I, th I think as long as we get one, one is just like super good, uh, uh, is really good. But if, oh, she's dead. Yeah, that's a kill, very, very nice combo. Gonna silence us, of course, not gonna matter too much. Oh, you pushed him out. Go, 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 come on. We are getting kind of effed in here. Okay, nice, nice double kill here. I dare you to come up here. We're not finished yet. We're not finished yet, boys. Is this probably coming up, up, at, all, uh, coming up at all? Oh no. I'm just gonna use my E here because E actually regenerates health. It deals damage. It's like kind of like a point-click damage. Um, it will deal damage uh, and also it will heal me for a little bit of the damage dealt to heroes. It, it will also deal damage on the way, so it, no, it's not. I thought my W was actually, was actually gonna do something, but it didn't. Okay, my team not following up on uh, on our opportunity to grab this, and that's why we just gave up two. So anyway, as I was saying, the best the best scenario is to grab three, of course. And then a really good scenario is to grab to grab at least two, but an okay scenario is to, to grab one. Honestly, it's really it's just okay to grab one. It's okay to grab just one objective on this map, especially when it's just the first phase. Probably is feeding again that. Honestly, it's just fine with me. I'm gonna try to clear it as, as fast as possible. Um, right, so I pain my sadism. My E is a damage that will deal damage on its way. Also, heal, returning some of the damage done. I think it's like 20%. Actually, it's 75%. Okay, seriously? Okay, then, my friend. A tracer is a little bit of a bad spot though. I'm actually in a very bad spot myself here as well, but I will be able to make it out in with the help of Abathur. Thanks so much, Abby. <clears throat> and we good. We just need to back again just because we have no healers. I mean that's quick match life. Anyway, level 4 we did pick up uh, like extended range on our Q. Basically you can see now it's much bigger, plus also it has two dimples on, on its side. He's gonna use a Z, there we go. Um, so, again, just makes us uh, hit our combo much. You overstep and you die. I'm sorry. This guy's called Mr. Ticklefinger. <laughs> that's actually so good. Dude, that's so good. Anyway. Anyhow. Medi, if you deal damage to me, and I will just deal damage back to you, my friend. Oh. Actually went into the, the Raven's one. That's fine though. Uh, level seven is our stacking talent, uh, kind of questing on our Q. The more people we hit, the more damage we will do. Up to fifteen stacks. She should be dead. I didn't reach her. It wasn't him who stopped it. Take the altars and put an end. Let me heal a little bit from that damage. Uh, we're gonna go, definitely go for go for counter strike here. Counter strike is super super good. Uh, Poke at him. He's dead. Why did my W come out again? This is horse, horse dunk, bro. Here's a Taz Dingo coming up. That's my counter strike right there. I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, our progress is not. I'm gonna try to take this opportunity to take this uh, uh, objective for ourselves. And I will succeed. So there we go. I will take this for us giving us four shots and we are actually level 10 first so again 
um, our level seven uh, makes uh, makes our um, Q stack with damage. Uh, we will basically be gaining more damage as we go. And also, I just fucked that up completely. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna try to cover him from the bottom, so uh, so Genji doesn't have like a clear path to him. Uh, it's like <laughs> enemy team just clears out. They're like, "Fuck that! We're not gonna mess with that." Probius. Hi there. <sighs> I'm bad. I'm bad, boys. But I think everybody already knows that. Oh. I'll try to save him. Go, 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 go. I saved you, little probe. Run. All right, I'll try to grab a sippy here and we, we can kind of re-engage there. Right, so as you can see there, just utility. Just using my W to save our little probe there. You know, the little innocent probe. Um, what are we talking about? Can I pull her? I cannot. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just so greedy for those for those combos, man. I really want that, you know, that really good kill. Oh, if I had my combo there, but I, I, again, she knew I didn't have my combo, and that's why she, uh, I think she, she didn't really make her way into us. Right, level ten is Counter Strike. What Counter Strike will do for us? Let's get the skill. Oh, hi, hi, Mediv. What kind of track will do for us? Basically, make us um, unstoppable and protected from damage for a, for a very short period of time. I think it's like a second. And if, if any damage comes our way during that time, we will basically be uh, releasing like this huge burst of damage in front of us. It's, it's a very similar down, a very similar area to our Q, but mu but much bigger. Sorry, similar shape, but it's actually much bigger. Looks like I'll be making my way down to the bottom. I'm just way too late. I'm way too late. I kind of a little bit overstay with and that probis party, man. My hold on this realm tightens. shall you serve me. There we go. We will be able to touch that Q. What if you can't see her? There we go, I can, I can see her now. Two seconds on my combo, I should be able to finish one of them off. One more. Let's go back. Ah, there we go. I think we will be able to pick this up. Yeah, yeah we good, you, man. We good. Alright. Our progress is doing crazy amounts of work on the siege side, and we're actually doing a good job of... Um, um, of just kind of like just kind of dominating the objective, you know what I mean, man? Uh, yeah, so th that was our counter strike. Honestly, that's all it all it does. Very nice uh, ultimate here is gonna zone the enemy team out. He's taking a little bit too much damage, but he looks like he's gonna be just fine. Um, and let's just move out, move down to the bottom lane. Just try to siege that as well. The enemy team is down. The enemy team is down by three levels, two right now, almost three again. There you go. You can see how I can also move my move myself to again to dodge skill shots to just make myself move somewhere much quicker. So we do hold all three. Therefore, we'll be shooting one shot every like so many seconds. I'm not sure. Is it every five seconds or is it every? Like, I think it's every five seconds or something. It's pretty OP. On my way to the top. To the top looks like okay. Our friendlies want to do the camp. That's fine. I'm gonna start the other one. Just so we get we can get as much shots from those guys as possible. There we go. Right, I will, I will, our level 13 talent allows me to again. I will again decrease my the amount um, of damage that I do with my sadism, but I will increase the duration of um, of the silence on my Q, which is nice. Of course, you know, against somebody like a Mediv, that's obviously pretty goddamn strong, right? It just allows us to just get so much more done within the time where he's silenced. Of course, his shield and, uh, and and other stuff like that is just, is just super annoying. Therefore, we want to we want to get rid of that almost completely. Let's not get hit by that tower. My Q is not even fully stuck, and, and I'm already still I'm still doing a, a lot of damage with it. Another tower. 
I'm fine, no problem. And we are somewhere already here. Probably come here. Oh, I missed it again. Kill that, kill that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Can't do anything. I'm zoned out. One thing that Propis is not doing right, she just keeps running into us, I mean. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, there we go. There's a, there's a clean, clean up crew right there. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Uh, we, oh, we actually did not grab this. So I'm gonna go and grab this right now, right, right now, real quick. Again, so I reduced it for the increase. Why is... I was so close though, so close. My E allowed me to stay, I think stay alive there because I, have my, I had her W on me. Anyhow, so, as I was saying, level 16 allowed us to again pay a little bit of that sadism damage. You can see we're down to 70%. For the, for the benefit of our W having extended, uh, sorry, uh, having a shorter cooldown, which obviously is really nice. Uh, basically, this has a 12 second cooldown, this has, a, this has an 8 second cooldown. We want to reduce this to as much as possible. We, we basically want to reduce this to, to a point where where we want to combo every single time. Before that, we, ha we have a situation where... Um, we have a situation where my Q would come off a of cooldown before my W. And now it's actually going to be the other way around. So I basically have my combo up and ready. Again, let's go and defend that. I'm I'm really up for defending this. They don't have much wave clear here at all. I messed that combo. I should have killed him. My bad. My bad. Let's poke at him a little bit. Uh, he he is a little bit too far forward, so that's gonna be looks like there's gonna be a few shots towards the enemy's core. All we we that's honestly just all we want. All we want. You want you want to play the the this game? Let's do it. Oh, he has the Rhaegar! Yeah. Oh, he went for the air one. Oh, there we go, we hit our Q, finally. Once upon a time, we will hit that Q. Oh, Vernia's shield is gonna save enemy probably so it's actually he, he is going to stay anyway and get taken out. Looks like there's gonna be three more shots towards the enemy's core, putting us very, very much forward. Alarak is the only character in the video game we can have two heroics at the same time. I'm gonna use it here to charge forward. It's gonna, gonna deal damage to Sylvanas. She does. She doesn't know what the fuck is hitting her. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get hit by any damage. So I'm not gonna get pick up two kills there. That, that, that would have been two kills right there. Um, they were actually lucky to not attack me there to kind of secure the living. But we also do pick up the win. There we go. MVP. No deaths. Super good. I will give you guys. I think there's only one talent, uh, tr kind of three tier, on which you can. Uh, very good job by this Abby. A tier where you can actually kind of deviate. You can kind of like take a different route than what I did. Uh, but I do believe it's the, about the only like. There's only one tier where you, where you can do that, and that's going to be I think level sixty, not level thirteen, I believe. Um, so there you go, let's go over the build again. I do prefer, by the way, the Q build. Uh, just to give you guys what I played with, the loadout. Nazebo Announcer, Q the Nibrak, Dominion Terran War Banner, Nimbus Cloud, and his his former master skin is called now Golden High Lord Alarak. Um, right, so I went for, again, more range on our W, and that's honestly super useful again for just pulling, pushing people further away, pulling them farther into us, putting them out of position farther, just makes everything about that ability better. It's just, it's just this ability is so, so nice that I don't really see the mana, the reduced mana cost on on both of, on both of those any better than, than this. Even though this makes you run out of mana much quicker because you'll be using abilities as that's normal for any character, you, you, don't want, you don't want to be spamming them, you just want to be using them in the right situations. So it's gonna make you um, a little bit kind of more mana hungry, but 
and the, at the end your your utility is just so much more important than your actual ability to save your mana, you know what I mean man? Level 4, double cross, the only choice here. I do like the cycle of this Gordon, this one. Uh, I think this has a very, very cool mechanic. Uh, but again, this double discord, double cross is just so, so nice. It, it allows you to extend the range, extend the kind of the, the, the area of your uh, discord strike by 25%. And also adds a little bit like of these per per perpendicular, just like, pimp, like dimples, I call them dimples to the side which also um, deal again. It's, it's basically just like extending the, that Discord Strike to, to the sides as well a little bit. So apparently this is supposed to be worked into him as base. So I'm guessing um, they're going to swap some time some talents around. So I'm really, really excited to see what's going to be on level 4 for Alarak after the rework. Uh, level 7, sorry, I closed it, closed it down. Level 7 is Chaos Reigns. Chaos Reigns, again, is this questing talent that allows us to stack up our damage. And after we are done with, with stacking it, we will extend, we will basically extend it twice as much as we already did. So we stack it up to 45 and then we get, we, after we finish the quest, we get 45 more. I'm not sure if we actually finished it, but it definitely gives you a nice boost of damage. And I do believe this is the only one. E could be nice because it reduces the cooldown, which is already pretty low. I think it's like seven or eight seconds. Uh, this makes it like six or five, which is something crazy. Like having poke ability every five seconds is super crazy for like, um, and it's also deals some crazy damage when you don't um, reduce too, too, too much of your sadism. So I see uses for this. I just find it awkward to stack. I just don't like to stack this talent at all. That's why I just never pick it. Um, it makes you tr try different things, put you potentially also put yourself out of position to try to hit that target just to stack it. Nah. I don't know, man. You, and you also have to hit 10 people. So, I don't know. I never had too much success with it. I just prefer the Chaos Reigns. Level 10. I like the Counter Strike first, always, just because it gives you that additional burst of damage that you need to kind of maybe sometimes follow up on your combo. And also makes you, of course, gives you more survivability, you know? Makes you unstoppable and makes you uh, protected for that one second. Very, very good ability. 13. Uh, Pure Malice is your. Number one choice for quick matches because people will be dying, but I like the dissonance, which increases the, again the silence duration for the cost of 10% for their 10% of your sadism. 16, we did go for quick mind, which reduces the cooldown of our telekinesis, basically allowing our combo to go off cooldown basically together. Um, so basically, that's it. Be uh, it makes it. Without the talent, this makes you super awkward because your Q is, again, that's what I said during the game, it's much quicker off cooldown than your W and makes it, makes it, you know, super, super awkward just because you're left there without a tool to pull somebody into your combo, but your Q is already there, you know? This makes it the other way around, so, you, so your, basically your biggest utility in this kit come off of school, comes off of cooldown much quicker. At level 20, I did go for Deadly Charge, which makes you channel. The, wrong, the longer you channel, the farther you're gonna go, and then you will also deal heavy damage. Also dependable on the on the level of, of your sadism uh, in its path. Uh, it has some crazy combos in it. You, you can charge in, uh, basically combo somebody, and then counter strike for just crazy amounts of damage. Uh, basically, it, it pretty much kills almost any character in the game, but like who's below like 4,000 health. It's something super crazy, but it's really good for uh, for basically getting out of the fight if you know how to use it, uh, because any damage will cancel this ability, and also very good, of course, for engaging into a fight, even though Alarak doesn't want to be the first engagers because he dies super quick again, his low health pool makes him that. Um, that's pretty much it. I think I really explained why he is not good at the moment, he just doesn't have too much utility in his uh, in his talents i think his talents are very underwhelming that's that's been the story of his existence in the heroes of the storm and also he says he has a very low health pool he he does have his uses but he also relies on his teammates a lot to follow up on his combos and other stuff like that hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't you know what to do you can dislike it and leave a hateful comment down below if you did though leave the leave the like 
You can also subscribe to the channel for more. We just started a nice A through Z series, so we're gonna be going over to Zulu Gen. And also, um, we're gonna cut in before Anubarak. I'm gonna record a Genji video just because uh, he is a new hot shield, and I know people want to know how to play him. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you doing that video. Thank you.